Manny, congratulations. You just signed your first professional contract with Toronto FC. Uh, what does it feel like to be a Toronto FC player officially? Oh, it's, it's great. It's a dream come true. And uh, yeah, I just want to make the most out of it. You've already had some moments playing with the team. You've played on the Reserve League matches. You've trained under Ryan Nelson. What have the coaches said to you and uh, what are you expecting to do for this club? Well, they just said, they just showed that uh, all the trust they have in me, all the faith. They just want to see me proceed in what I'm doing so far. I want to make it big and hopefully with this team it's going to happen. And you're soon off to represent Canada in the under-18 as well. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that process? Yeah, it's, it's my first call-up. I leave tomorrow. Uh, we're going to Spain for 15 days. I'm going to play some big teams, Argentina, uh, Belarus, Belgium, Japan. It's going to be a great experience, especially because it's my first one. A lot of our fans that have come to Academy matches, they're very familiar with you. But for those who haven't seen you play yet, uh, can you tell our fans what kind of a player you are and what can the club expect from you as a midfielder? Uh, I like to play center mid or center attacking mid. Uh, it depends where I'm playing, but sometimes I can hold up the ball and then I can go, I can attack, I can pass, I can, I can do mostly everything a center mid should be able to do. And you chose the number 34 for any particular reason? No, no, no particular reason. Just my first reserve game, I used 34, so I wanted to stick with it and keep on going with 34. Now, Maria, you were in there as uh, Manny was signing his first professional contract. You were remarking on how he's all grown up. Uh, what is it like you as a parent to see him do that? Oh, it's amazing. It's so nice to see him grow and fulfill his dreams. How long has he been playing football? Oh, since seven. <laughs> he was born, <laughs> yeah. And as you always talked about playing professionally and wanting to play for his hometown as well for the last few years? Well, it is really his dream. This is, he always uh, tried to, to, to come to this day, to, to go to this day. Yeah. Gabriel, for you as well, a very proud moment, obviously. Uh, you're talking about in there how he has to open a checking account now because he only has a <laughs> savings account. Uh, it's, it's all part of growing up. Yeah, no, he's, he's very excited. He's a very excited moment. Actually, these couple of weeks, it has been amazing because everything was coming very fast to us. Uh, the call for the national team and the signing with, with TFC. Uh, as, as he said, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dream come true. So he's been dreaming about soccer. He's very passionate about soccer since he was two years old. So uh, we are all very happy as a family, yeah. Well, actually, we, we are from Argentina. Uh, we came to Canada in 2004. Uh, and actually, uh, it's, it's very nice for us to see how uh, soccer is growing here in Canada. So it has been amazing the last five, ten years how everything has been changing. Uh, and, and actually, it's, it's very important to, to notice that the staff here in TFC of the Academy it, they are doing an amazing job, yeah. And actually, also the the, the facility that we can see here is a, is one of the best that we can see. So there are there are just a, there must be very few a, places in the world that they can have this type of facility. So a, I think that he has the the lucky to a, to be in the correct moment and the a, and in the correct place, yeah. So it's it's a matter of that there has been a huge improvement in Canada in terms of soccer in the last 10 years, and we are very happy about that, yeah. Uh, Manny, we'll give you the final word. Uh, who's your favorite player, and uh, who do you want to emulate as a footballer? Lionel Messi. He's just amazing. He's Argentine like me, and he's just the best. <laughs>